Hi guys, welcome to the Three Hammers Golf Academy and welcome to another episode of Lockdown Learning. So today uh, I'm joined by Jamie Britton, uh, PGA uh, professional, player and coach, and the founder of the uh, fantastic Swing Plate. So Jamie, welcome. Thank you, nice to be here. Yeah, great to have you here. Now we've got a, uh, a date uh, to, uh, for golf to resume, which is great news. Uh, and we've, uh, we've also uh, got lots and lots of keen golfers now who are perhaps dusting off their golf clubs, they're digging them out of the garage, and it's time to start moving before we can get out there on the golf course. Absolutely. So with that in mind, we're kind of combining today's kind of lockdown learning uh, with uh, tips for you to, uh, to practice, but also uh, you know, for somebody who's seen so many golf swings out in the gardens of late, uh, some of the uh, you know, some of the, the real kind of key themes that have that have helped yeah. with people's yeah, uh, through social media. People have been very supportive of my product, and I've got to see lots of people practicing in their garden. I think it's fair to say you've seen a load of golf swings, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> more so than usual. More like my day to day job, is, as you know, as a, a coach. But yeah, I've seen it in a different on a different platform now. <laughs> yeah, which 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 is ace. And practice, as we know, uh, can you know, practice can be dangerous. So uh, yeah, with, with that in mind, uh, we're going to just go, just going to cover just a couple of real key areas and perhaps using some props, which you can use at home as well, just to make sure that, uh, you know, that your practice sessions uh, can be productive and purposeful. Yeah, I, that's a good point. You make the, the purpose, purposeful nature of your practice and training aids, not, not just alignment sticks or the swing plate, uh, different training aids can be very suitable for your game because they offer a feedback. Yeah. almost a physical barrier and, and there's no need to hit hundreds of golf balls even at full speed. A lot of our clients uh, during lockdown have done lots of uh, slow motion practice yeah. building up so maybe every third ball is a full shot yeah. but within those is a breakdown of maybe a slow motion swing. So we'll go over some of those today and, and hopefully we, we can help you guys. Yeah and I think that's really an important, important point there from Jamie. We, we actually don't need to hit golf balls. Now, so I've got, you know, fortunately, I've got, I've got some clients who've got some magnificent studio spaces, but I've also got clients who live, um, you know, who haven't got access to a garden or anything like that. Uh, we don't need to be hitting anything. So as long as you've got space to actually make a golf swing, um, and if you, yeah, if you can perhaps take a, uh, take a picture, take a video of that golf swing as well to give you feedback, that's all that's really necessary. Okay, guys, so tip number one is gonna be based around swing playing. We're also going to go over a little bit of body alignment as well and the importance of that when you're practicing at home. So what is swing plane? It's essentially the path that the club travels around your body. So we've got lots of different combinations. We can have an upright swing plane. We can have a what we call a flat swing plane. So we're going to go over how you can use uh, anything you may have at home, maybe a garden cane. We're using the swing plate and the alignment sticks here to demonstrate for that. Good body alignment is important because it can affect your swing plane. Poor alignment can influence what you have to do during the swing. So we've got some canes down on the ground here. And it's important to note that good body alignment is generally parallel to target. So we've got nice shoulders that are parallel to the red line you can see against the screen there. We don't, unless we're trying to shape the golf ball particularly, we don't want to aim at target because then our club face will be parallel to that and it won't be pointing at where you want your golf ball to, uh, to start or go. If you are the golfer that suffers with a flat backswing or a golf club that travels around your body too much, thus causing you to come over the top, I'm going to show you how you can work on that first position and your takeaway to do that. So I've positioned this golf ball here around three club heads outside of the stick that I get. I've angled the alignment stick that's in the swing plate at the same angle as my eight iron. You can see there, the club shaft is matching that angle there. And all we're gonna do now, we're just gonna move that club away to its first position, and we can now see that the club shaft is pointing at our target. So we know we're in a good position to go up to the top and hopefully come back down. We'll get some feedback if we, if we don't do the right sort of arc to our backswing because we can see that's that's our flat backswing now we're going to get some feedback by either potentially clipping the alignment stick 
or by going under. The next one we get a lot of questions about this is coming over the top. How do we feel that inside hip? Well, we very much advise you working with your coach to get your back swing in check. But if you're someone who wants to do lots of rehearsal swing, lots of drills doing this, we would position the golf ball three, three club heads inside of the parallel stick on the ground. And now we can see, as we bring the club back down, we want that club again pointing at our target or a good feeling for those of you that have the club head that side of the cane would actually be having the club head at that angle to really encourage you to feel that inside hit. We wouldn't advise you to hit balls doing this. Lots of drill swings, lots of slow motion swings. When you feel comfortable doing it, move the, move the cane or the swing plate out of the way, hit a few golf balls, film yourself, bring the canes back in and do some rehearsals again. The advantage of doing lots of rehearsal swings, you can, you can get a lot more good work done than just ball bashing. If you're hitting loads of balls, you're likely to revert back to type. Use physical barriers such as a swing plate or canes or anything like that to ingrain the change you're trying to make with your coach. And finally, we're gonna go right in the middle now. We've spoken about the backswing. We've spoken about the, the downswing and how you can practice and do slow motion drills doing that. You can see how we've got our alignment sticks and our red alignment stick indicating our target here. And we've gone over how alignment's really important. So traits that we see from really good players is that generally in that first club's first parallel position, they're gonna have that club over the toes pointing at the target. From here, they will go up to the top and be able to lay that club shaft down. Then they can hit from the inside, which is what we're all craving to feel. From here. So by setting up a station at home, you don't need to hit loads of balls. More rehearsal swings in slow motion will be much better feedback for you, as opposed to ball bashing, getting it wrong, slipping into bad habits. So I really hope that helps and happy practicing. So for, uh, for my tip today, I'm gonna to focus more so on short game. So uh, with golf just around the corner, uh, yes, we're all gonna be rusty and I can guarantee you, you are gonna miss some greens. So uh, if you've got some space in the garden to hit something, whether it's chipping golf balls, chipping airflow balls or something, please follow this tip and hopefully it can help your game when we can return. So, here, uh, we're going to look at chipping and pitching. So I've got my, my target line here, so my red stick is in position. Now I've put uh, two alignment sticks here forming my corridor towards the target. So you can use sticks, you can use canes, you can use clubs, you name it. So uh, straight away here, I've got a great reference with where my target line is. Now, what we see with players when pitching, especially when we return, the lies are going to be a little bit indifferent. It's going to be muddy. The grass hasn't quite caught up yet. It's not growing, you know, it's growing at different rates. So your strike has got to be on point. So what we're actually looking at here, uh, first of all, is the direction your golf club is traveling throughout the backswing and through, uh, through downswing and through impact. Common faults that we see for players who struggle with strike is that golf club coming too much from an inside pathway. And especially with golfers who have got that drilling over the top, they've been spending so much time trying to get shallower, shallower, shallower. Whenever we're pitching and chipping, that's when they get shallow. So what I've actually done here is uh, popped an alignment stick down, which as you can see at setups, exactly the same as my club shaft, I've pretty much Position that for this occasion right directly in line with my ball to target line Now I would like to see my preference as a coach is seeing a player there Keeping the golf club just ever so slightly on top of the shaft line not out here and definitely not in here So making the actual golf swing slightly in front Approaching that point of impact and ever so slightly exiting to the left on the way through the hitting area. Never going this way, because if we go into out, 
we've then got to really work that club face. So ideally, we want to see that club face staying in line with the target as much as we possibly can. So even if you haven't done an alignment stick at an angle, it doesn't matter. Get a couple of clubs down, work it that way. Press record on your camera, see what movement pattern you've got. Now, chuck that one away. So now we're gonna look at strike from a face on perspective. So, uh, and what I'm gonna do now, I'm still gonna use my alignment stick here, but what, I, what I'm gonna do now with this is just put it in a, uh, a vertical position and I'm gonna keep that exactly where it was as well. So now as I take my setter to the golf ball, for a, again, for a chip or pitch shot, really important, guys, that we make sure that the golf ball itself is in line with the sternum. So here, with the vertical alignment stick here, so you can use anything here, it's great to give you that reference of where your sternum and golf ball line is. Now, here, with the alignment stick just behind, this is gonna really test my strike. Again, when we're out there in different lies, I've got to make sure I get that ball before the turf. So if I was going to attempt to hit this golf ball from here for a pitch shot, or for any shot for that matter, I wanna make sure I'm getting the ball before making contact with that alignment stick. Now, please have a practice before. Don't just go and try and hit a golf ball with an alignment stick behind, because it's all, you know, dangerous. So I've actually positioned this alignment stick here approximately one and a half to two club lengths just behind. I'm actually just going to, just for this uh, purpose now, just move myself a little further in front, make a few practice swings here, trying to get the feeling of my low point occurring after the golf ball. When I'm actually confident with that, I'm then going to position this or put this on the actual golf ball itself. So you could use a stick or a club or something similar, or you can use one of, one of these. This is a, a purpose-built training aid, the fat plate, which we use an awful lot here at the Golf Academy to pop down just behind the golf ball here. We've got different ball position reference points on here, and the main objective with this, so this is a great striking tool here, is making sure we hit the golf ball without hitting the fat plate. So two tips there to help you pitching. One, based on direction, and two, based on strike there. Using an object just behind the golf ball, a golf club, a garden cane, a, an alignment stick, whatever, a fat plate. Brilliant. So, okay, so moving on to our next tip, we're now gonna talk about arm plane and what our arms are doing on the backswing. We've seen lots of swings recently where players are working on where their hands and their arms are at the top of their backswing, which can really have a profound effect on what the club does on the downswing. So if you're someone who suffers with a bit of an over-the-top move, potentially you're allowing your arms to disconnect and lift up above your face in the backswing. You also may be one of the golfers that have your arms travelling too much around your waist on the backswing and you can see your right shoulder. If this is the case, I've got a good little tip on how you can just get that right on check at the top of your backswing. So, as a coach, we would have a preference at the top of the backswing where your hands are covering your right shoulder. As you see here, another reference point for that is the butt of the club going down my right leg into my right heel. So some of the best players in the world have got a beautifully neutral position at the top of the backswing because they've worked on this. So you can grab anything, you can put a cane into the grass. We've seen, I've seen players um, taping two alignment sticks together. Uh, with the swing plate, I've recently released uh, the new extension pole, which is made uh, specifically for the swing plate fits in your unit and it won't tip the swing plate over. The bonus of this, you can use it on the range because you've got the plate. So, we've now angled that. You may want your coach to give you a precise location for this, but once you've got it in the right place, you'll, you'll know. As you can see there, I've got the cane angled through my neck, perhaps my ear. That's gonna give me a great reference point now for where I want to be at the top of the backswing. 
Lots of rehearsal swings won't even need a club to start with. If you're someone who lifts your arms on the backswing, potentially lifting your body up, you're soon going to get some feedback there of your hands just colliding with the cane. So this is a really good way of just organising your arms and the golf club at the top of the backswing. As you see from here, I've got some good depth into the golf swing. You think of a player like Rory, doesn't have his hands up in front of his face. He's got that good stretch at the top of the backswing. From here, we can just let that club fall down and we're nicely on that inside track back to the golf ball. So have a go, let us know what you think, and I hope this helps. So for my next tip, we're going to be looking at the way that your body is moving and the way that you're swinging the golf club here from the face on view. So very similar to the pitching and chipping exercise here, making sure that we get ball before the turf, we're now going to focus on the, uh, on the full swing. So I can't stress enough the importance, guys, of uh, alignment sticks uh, or something similar. Even just create the tee with a couple of golf clubs. So here I've got my ball position reference point. I've got a mid iron here for uh, the purpose of this, this video. Now, when I take my setup position here, you can see that the golf ball is central, maybe just a hair ball is central. Now, let's take a look at how I'm moving here into the backswing. A common one we see with lots of players who are struggling with strike, and especially this time of year, is too much of a lateral move going on here. So when I'm making that backswing, ideally I want to see that upper body rotating here with you staying fairly centered, especially with the iron golf clubs. The more I move off the golf ball as well, as you can see, it restricts the length of my golf swing. Now, one of my favorite training aids at the moment now, we have got the extended pole to pop just in here. So now, as I take my setup position, build my setup there, just to give me a reference now to stop me moving off the golf ball, as we can see now, my objective, my objective here is making that back swing and don't make any contact whatsoever with this extended pole. As I move on to the, the lead side and into my throw swing, everything now is moving away from it. So stay centered, move to target there. That's a great way to really try and promote ball divot strike. So brilliant for all of your iron clubs as we're getting back into golf. Hope it helps. Any questions, please ask. So guys, hope you enjoyed those, uh, those tips and drills. Those really are some classics, which uh, we really feel is gonna help your game. Jamie, would you agree with that? Yeah, they really are the most sort of popular ones I've seen uh, during lockdown, working with clients online, and also through the, my uh, swing plate business and the, the Instagram uh, platform. A lot of uh, amateurs, elite level golfers, and pros and professionals as well, working on their game. They're really the most popular ones, just the fundamentals of, of the game, and really just engraving those. Yeah, so we cannot stress the importance of key fundamentals for your practice. So. A couple of simple alignment sticks, brilliant. Yeah, be creative with your practice, but yeah, try and stick to those basic fundamentals. Uh, Jamie, it's been great having you uh, you with us, and uh, these swing plates are really, really are awesome, and I've thoroughly enjoyed using them. Now we've got actually got our own three hammers, brandy ones now as well. So yeah, uh, yeah super impressed with those. And uh, I know that you've got a special offer for our customers here at the Three Hammers, if you can tell us a little bit more. Yeah, I'm happy to offer Three Hammers customers and clients 10% off via the website. Uh, the link will be in the email and please use the coupon uh, code at checkout. Yeah, couldn't be simpler. Follow the link, use a coupon code, get 10% off on the amazing uh, swing plates. So if you're practicing guys for the new season, please do practice with a purpose. Uh, any questions you've got, give us a shout. Take a look at the Swing Plate website as well. Jamie and I are working on a whole host of drills and tips. So if you like what you've seen today, there's a whole load more on all aspects of the game as well. So uh, it's all about purposeful practice. Enjoy the build-up to the reopening of golf. Take good care of yourselves and we look forward to seeing you really soon.